It's been almost six years since a gunshot took the life of Tucson native Jenna Ayoub. Now on your side's Veronica Vernaccio explains us to joins us now to explain how her memory lives on. Veronica. Jason, Jenna Ayoub died on June 26, 2012. She was shot in the head by her boyfriend at the time, Ronald James Corbin. No trial date has been set, but since her death, her sister Heather Picard opened two recovery homes. Today, those homes celebrated two years of being open in honor of Jenna's life. Heather Picard is talking about fighting addiction, something she's dealt with firsthand. I had my own battle with addiction, and for many years, um, I came back from I spent 10 years in prison. I, I battled a 20 year drug addiction. It was words from her sister Jenna right before she died that changed her perspective. I remember having one of my last conversations with her was I told her I was scared I was never gonna be able to change. And um, she said, don't ever say that. You know, she's like, you can change. After Jenna's passing, her words stayed with Picard. I got clean shortly after she died, and um, ever since then, I just told myself, you know what, I don't want it to, I don't want her to have died in vain. I want to do something to keep her memory alive. And that she did. Ricard opened two recovery centers through her nonprofit, Believe Recovery Services. She named the first one after Jenna as Jenna's House for Women. Ricard's organization celebrated two years of helping hundreds of women battling addiction, alcoholism, and domestic violence. She was loving and caring and gave me a, a roof over my head that was safe. Like I was running from an abusive relationship and just didn't, yeah, I was lost, so lost. And the three months that I was there, like I blossomed. Heard is the first woman that Picard was able to help, but she never forgets why she started. If Jenna was here right now, she would just have a big, beautiful smile on her face, and she would just be telling me how proud she is of me. Picard tells me her organization is in need of volunteers and donations. If you'd like to learn more about how you can help, visit our website, kega9.com. Veronica Vernaccio, Kega9 on your side.